Faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Yes, Lord, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Oh, yes, his mercies never comes to an end. Oh, yes, they are new every morning. Yes, new every morning. Oh, great is the faithfulness. Father, we worship you, Lord. Yes, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Yes, his mercies never comes to an end. It never comes to an end. Yes. Yes, they are new every morning. Yes, new every morning, Lord. Yes, great is your faithfulness. We serve a God that is faithful to his promises. We serve a God that is faithful to his promises. Yes, we serve a God that is faithful to his promises. The word of God made it clear to us that God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. And the word says, whatsoever he says he will do, that is what he will do. Ha! Huh? Yes, we serve a God that his love is steadfast. We serve a God that protects and love his own. Ha! Huh? Father, we bless you. We exalt your holy name. Father, we glorify you because you are God. You are not a man. Yes, we worship you for whom you are. You are the lion of the tribes of Judah. Yes, Lord, we lift up your name oh, above every other name. Lord, we worship you because you are God. Father, we join the 24 elders in heaven to bow down before your tribe. You are God all by yourself. You are the fourth man in the fire. You are the God that showed the mouth of the lion. 
How great are you, O God. Father, we thank you for your great plus, for the life of this ones. Father, thank you for your great plus, for the life of their family members. Father, thank you for your great plus, the great plans that you have for your people that no power can stop. Lord, we thank you for preservation. Lord, we thank you for provision. Lord, we thank you for guardians. We thank you, O oh God, for that great blessing that are manifesting, O oh God. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. Father, we thank you because I know the present condition of that man today, the present condition of that woman today that is yet to seek you, Malika. Shanta does not determine the great future, the great tomorrow that you have for them. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. For I know our present condition does not determine the great tomorrow, the great future, the great plus that you have for us. Father, we thank you because you are God. I just want to worship this God because he's not a selfish God. If he can give it to Mr. A, he can give it to Mr. B. God is not a partial God. Yes, I thank God for your life, child of God. Because that present condition, that present condition, that of course men to question you, that present condition, that of course men to ask you, where is the God that you serve? That present condition, that of course people to doubt your faith. Yam Yasa Yadalon, the present condition does not determine the greatness that the Lord has for you. It does not determine the greater purpose that the Lord has for your future. I said the present condition that wants men to ridicule your life. It will not determine how your tomorrow will be, how your future will be for the Lord alone. Have written your destiny and your destiny it must function according to the will of God, not according to the will of man, not according to the will of evangelist Sarah, but according to the will of God alone, according to the will of God alone, according to the will of God alone. I said the will of God alone, not the will of your parents, not the will of your assistant, not the the will of your pastor according to the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I said the present condition, it cannot determine the great future that the Lord has in place for you. The present situation that caused me to question you. You have fasted for so many days. Look at all that testifying. When are you going to testify? The laughter in the faces of your enemy is shut turn to shame and disgrace. Yes, because nothing, nothing can stop the greatness that the Lord has proposed concerning your life. I said the will of God alone, not what men have spoken, not what women have spoken, not what witches have spoken. I said the will of God, that is the only thing that is permitted to stand. I said his way, his way, he must prevail over the predictions of your enemy. I 
I said that situation. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. I stand upon the word of God. I decree and I declare by the name of Yeshua. I call up a sundalata. Let that stop situation. Let it aspire now. In the name of Jesus. Every stomp on pursuer, oh, lick about Shanta. Every stomp on pursuer, I don't know who you are. They have pursued you to a place where you don't even know what to pray anymore. If you are that person, hear me as I yet the Lord. I said the Lord is attending to your curse by the power in the name of Yeshua. Every stomp on pursuer, I can't by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let every storm and pursue of your destiny. Let the summer sort, let the parish, let the parish, every storm and prayer, every storm and pharaoh, every storm and pharaoh, every storm and pharaoh that has pursued you, that has pursued you. You to the receive as the Lord pathway for you. Let them summer certain. I shall let them scatter in the name of Jesus. I shall let them summer certain and let them scatter in the name of Jesus at the midst of the midst of the sea. Between the people of Israel. The Bible says the Red Sea was at the front. When they look at the side, there was a mountain, rocks everywhere. The whole road was so tight, they did not know what to do. But we serve a God, we serve a God that bring hope into a hopeless curse. And the some God show up, and the some God divide the Red Sea. The Bible recorded that the children of Israel, they walked to a dweller, the Red Sea, that became a blessing to the children of Israel, the same Red Sea, become a destruction to the armies of Pharaoh, I decree and I declare, every stomp and pursuer of your destiny, that has pushed you to a breaking point, I said the Lord make a way for you, as the summer sought and die. In the name of Jesus, the Sam Rasi that become a blessing to the children of Israel, the Sam Rasi become a dead end to the people of Egypt that was pursuing the people of God. Every stubborn pursuer, that situation that have pursued you, that have pursued you, that want to determine your ending. Let the stubborn pursuer, let them scatter in the name of Jesus. Let the shadow liberate. Regada bakala basuta. We serve a God that is able to do all things and to bring whoever He desire to bring to the throne. When the Lord want to set a man on the throne, He does not look at the stature. He does not look at the connection. He does not look at the environment. The Bible said David was far away in the city. But the prophet said unto the father, he said, Jesse and the other children, none of us will sit down until David return from that field to be anointed as the Lord have commanded. I say we serve a God that is able to do all things and this God bring whoever he desire to the throne. It is the desire of God. It is not the desire of man. If it were to be the desire of man, David would not have been crowned. If it were to be according to the desire of Jesse, yes, David would not have been crowned. But we serve a God that bring anyone to the throne whenever he desire, he wants to do it. He does not need to seek permission from anyone. Lacobo Shanda Liberata. And I yet the Lord says, I am bringing you to the throne. Oh, we serve a God. That pick anyone that is there and is setting for the water sea by the power in the name of 
Lord Jesus. Yes, I said the Lord did the greatness of your future. I said the Lord did the greatness of your tomorrow. Power was the word to frustrate your tomorrow. By the power in the name of Jesus, let them begin to scatter. Let them begin to scatter. I said the Lord bring them. Whoever he desired to the throne. When it is your time, it is your time. Somebody said, it is my time to sit down on the throne that the Lord has prepared for me. And all glory belongs to the God that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above everything that we ask for. I said that God, it is able to bring you to a position of blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is what I hear so strongly. The moment I sit down to start praying, that situation that you look at, you are like, Can this is this situation going to defy me? The Lord said, I should tell you that situation will not defy you. That situation will not defy your destiny. That situation will not defy your tomorrow. By the power in the name of Jesus, I said that situation, let it come to an end. The God that brought an end to the pursuit of Pharaoh, the God that brought an end, let that God, let it put an end to that stubborn situation that have been pursuing your life. The situation will not determine how you will end. I repeat this word, you cannot carry the grace of God and end in disgrace. Oh, they want to plan fear, you don't know what tomorrow holds. Tomorrow is in the hands of God. And everything that is in the hands of God, the Bible record that it is safe and secure. Somebody hear me as I hear the Lord. The stubborn situation that have come to plant fear into your life into your family that want to plant fear of the unknown. I said that situation, they aspire by fire. The aspire by fire. Like a shandalata. A regada bakalata. Iya goloba shanta. Regada bakalada. A galagada lagaba shanta. I kalaba sandalata. I barada da da de. A koloba shandalibarata. By the fire of the Lord. The stubborn situation. That follows you to this prayer session. They will not live with you. Why? Because the Lord is attending to your curse. God brought you here for a reason. God brought you here for his purpose. God brought you here for his greatness. I said that stubborn situation that follow you to this place. They will not live with you. By the power in the name of Jesus, let it come to an end. 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 In the name of Jesus, I prophesy as a servant of the Lord. Every stubborn pursuers of your destiny that want to determine your journey in life, let them scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Abba Father. Father, we bless your holy name. For I know, haha, whatever you say you will do, you will do. Your word says everything that you have spoken, it will not return to you void until it accomplish that which you send the word to do, until it fulfill that which you assign the word to do. Father, I come before you just as a messenger. I humble myself, oh God, before you, Lord, if there be anyone under the sound of my voice that is iniquity is accusing 
you give grace to the humble. As a ministry, Lord, we come before you. As a church, we come before you. As a people of God, we come before you. As a children, we come before you. As a servant, we come before you. If there be any unholiness in us, Lord, cleanse us from the hands and cleanse us from clean our name from the book of destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus, I said through the blood of Jesus, every iniquity, every iniquity, every iniquity, let it be cancelled in the name of Jesus as we humble ourselves before the Lord. The Lord give you grace. I said the Lord give you that sufficient grace to overcome the power of sin, to overcome anything that stands as an addition in the name of Jesus. Let and I am praying for forgiveness. The next thing that I see, I see a child that was dancing in the womb of somebody. In other words, this child have already formed. The child was not just a battle form. The child already formed. But ignorantly, this child was removed. I pray by the mercy of the Lord. Let the Lord show you mercy. Any power accusing you with every mistake that you have made. Let there be silence in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Lord did not condemn you. As you repent today, as you go and sin no more, I say everything that stands as sin against you, it is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Like a shandala barata, a gobara da da da, he calaba shandala da da, he mande like a basunda liberata, a gadala da da, a kolaba shandala da 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 da, he ya gada da 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 bara da da da, he calaba shandala. Open your mouth and begins to pray. I will not lose any good thing before I get to my future. I will not lose any good thing before I get to my tomorrow. I will not lose any good thing before I get to my destiny. Any good thing that the Lord have assigned to my life, I will not lose it in the name of Jesus. Can somebody begins to release fire? I got the bush and the the Bible says that it's a man ought to pray and not to offend. If there be a man to pray, there is a God to answer. We serve a God that opened the doors and no man can close it. I come before you, child of God, as a prophet of the Lord. I decree and I declare any good in your hand, it will not be taken away before tomorrow. Any plans of the enemy. To destroy your destiny before tomorrow, as the Lord lives and the Spirit of God is alive, let it be revived by fire. I call over Shadada, I call over Sundali Barata. I saw by the sword of heaven, let the Lord begin to chase every stumble pursuer of your destiny, the stumble pursuer of of your family, sir, the stumble pursuers of your children at the side of your amen. I said the sword of heaven. Let it be released. 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 Against every stumble pursuer of your destiny in the name of Jesus. I lack of a shandada, regada la basunta, makolaba shanta. Can you lift up your hands unto heaven? Wherever you are, child of God, this task is not a barrier. I say, can you lift up your hands unto heaven? I begin to declare, I begin to declare, lack of a shandala, a goba santa. From today, from today, all things shall work in my favor. Even as I expect a greater tomorrow, ah, Likaba Shanta, Red the Legabo Suta, and I yet the loss of the sorrow that follow you to this place. The sorrows are aspiring, Legabo Shanta, Ligaba Santa, and Red the Legada Dada, I yet the loss of every sorrow that follow you to this place. The aspire now, the aspire now, the aspire now. They are not permitted to go 
can you take a seconds to share? If there be anyone that should be tired, it should be me. <laughs> if I am not tired with the strength of the Lord, why should you be tired? Child of God, we refuse to be tired. We refuse to be tired. We refuse to be tired. That which the enemy want to see, they will not see it. The Lord bless everyone connected with a seed. A better tomorrow. God bless you for your seed. I see other seeds that are coming in through paper, through cash, app, through super chat. God bless everyone. Every seed that are coming in, I see everything. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. Yes, let's take a seconds to share because there are many people who come to report their ministry who just come to turn down their video. They are angry. They are angry. I don't know what to call them. If they are angry, which is, I don't know. Let the Lord have mercy. And many of them will tell you they are Christians. And when you look deeper into their life, you will realize that they are not just, they are not just doing evil. They are Pharisees. They are Pharisees. Hallelujah. Can you quickly share the word of God? Somebody, can you declare this word? My tomorrow shall be greater. My tomorrow is greater than my yesterday in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 30, in verse 5, the Bible says, for his anger endured for a moment. He said in his favor is life. <laughs> Weeping may endure for a night. <laughs> But joy comes in the money. I say, let every weeping, eh, maragalabashata, according to the word of God, let every weeping, let every sorrow, let it begin to aspire, 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 let every weeping, let every weeping. Let every weapon, let them aspire by fire in the name of Jesus. Let every weapon that have endured for a night that want to remain in your life to determine your journey, to determine your ending. I said they are a liar. Let that weapon, let that control it by the power in the name of Jesus. Any sign of weapon that have endured for a night that I want to remain in your day. I serve by the power in the name of Jesus. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. I said that weeping. It is not permitted to endure forever in your life. Let them begin to aspire. Like a bush and Every ugly situation that want to remain, that have endured for a night, that want to remain in your home, in your destiny, let them begin to aspire in the name of Jesus. The Bible recorded is a weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It did not say that the weeping will continue in the morning. It did not say the weeping we continue in the day. Every weeping that have endured in your life that want to remain, I serve by the fire of the Lord. Let them be evacuated. Let them be evacuated. Let them be evacuated. They cannot stay. They cannot stay. They cannot stay. Let them park in the name of Jesus. Let them pack in the name of Jesus. They cannot walk with you into your tomorrow. They cannot remedy. They cannot remedy. We say let them be evicted by the power in the name of Jesus. Let them be shattered by the power of Let the weeping. Let it aspire. Let it aspire. Let it aspire. I said they cannot stay. That sorrow cannot dwell in your life. That situation of sorrow. I'm sorry. Oh, this is how sorry. It cannot remain. It cannot remain. It cannot remain. I said that situation of sorrow.
sorry. Ah, sorry, oh, you have not settled down. Ah, sorry. Ah, oh, sorry, you are suffering. No, sorry, sorry, no. That situation cannot remain. Let them be evacuated by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I say, let them be evacuated by the power in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, you walk into a better tomorrow. You walk into a better tomorrow. If the Lord carries her, or less judgment come, I say, walk into a better tomorrow. Even if judgment come tomorrow, you will continue the joy in the kingdom of God. Yes, child of God, walk into a better tomorrow. I prophesy a better tomorrow. Let every sorry, every sorrow, every pain that want to follow you into your tomorrow. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. Let them aspire. In the name of Jesus, anything that wants you to live or past glory without present glory, let them begin to aspire. Anything that wants you to live or past glory, the glory of yesterday, the glory of yesteryears, the power that wants you to live in that glory, without seeing present glory, let them aspire. I said they aspire now. 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 In the name of Jesus, I prophesy a new door. A new door. I decree and I declare a new door. A new glory. A new testimony, a new celebration in the name of Jesus. I prophesy a present glory, a present testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not continue to live in the glory of the past without a present glory. I say, let that situation, let it come to an end by the power in the name of Jesus. I prophesy a new dawn, a new dawn, a new dawn. Your tomorrow of testimony, he have come. Your tomorrow of greatness, he have come. By the power in the name of Jesus, and I prophesy upon the life of somebody, you will not be dead before your glory manifest. I said that glory that you have been praying for, you will not be dead before the glory speak in the name of Jesus. Let the glory begin to speak right now as you step into your tomorrow, as you step into your future in the name of Jesus. Let the liberator, I said the glory that you have been waiting for, it is released, it is released. It is released in the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon the life of somebody at the sound of your amen each day. I say again each day, you shall see the goodness of God. Can I hear an amen? I say each day, you shall see the goodness of God. I say each day, you shall see the blessings of God. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, chapter 118, verse 24, the Bible says, this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I prophesy upon the life of some Every day you will have a purpose to rejoice in the name of Jesus. For it is the day that the Lord has made. You will rejoice in every day and you will be glad in it in the name of Jesus. As you walk into your better tomorrow, as you walk into your better future in the name of Jesus. Like a chandelata, I say no better yesterday. Every day shall be better than the former in the.
the name of Jesus, every of your new day, it shall be better than the former. In the name of Jesus, no better yesterday. Every day shall be better than your former. In the name of Jesus. You will not dwell on the past glory. And you will just sit down and say, Oh, I have this yesterday. I had that yesterday. Oh, today I don't know what is going on. That is not your passion. Every day, every day will be better. Every day will be better. Can I hear somebody prophesy? Every of my day will be better than the former. Every of my day will be better than the former. I say, walk into my bed tomorrow. I say walk into my better future. Yes, every day will be better than the former. Every day will be better than the former. According to the will of God, I say every day shall be better than the former. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and I declare a new thing will continue to spring up in every era of your life. New thing will spring forward every day. New testimony. New glory will spring forward. You will not continue to live in the past glory of yesterday. New glory will spring forward. New glory will spring forward. As long as the Lord lives, a new blessing will spring forward in your life every day in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in the book of Isaiah 43, I decree and I declare every of your day, new things shall spring forth. I say new things of blessing. It shall spring forth. A new testimony shall spring forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Let a boat I said something better. I said something better. I said something better than what you have yesterday. Let it begin to spring forth every day of your life. Every day of your life. I said something better than what you have yesterday. It shall be begin. It shall, it shall continue to spring forth in the name of Jesus. It shall continue to spring forth by the power in the name of Jesus. Yes, shout of God, you walk into that better tomorrow. The better future you have been praying for, you are walking into it. A new glory shall spring forth every day. Every day shall be better than the former. Every new day, as the Lord tarries, Every new day shall be better than the former. Somebody make that word a declaration. Somebody make that word a declaration. I walk into a better tomorrow. I walk into a better future. By the power in the name of Jesus. Yes, I walk into a better tomorrow. A better future. A better tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You have not liked the word, quickly go on and help us to like the word. The Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. You are sending in seed or better tomorrow. I see all the seed that are coming through paper, through cash app. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. Can somebody open to the book of Lamentation? Let's go to the book of Lamentation. As if you have not liked the word, please quickly like the word. You have not liked the word, quickly like the word. You have not shared, quickly share the word of God. The Lord bless everyone of us in the name of Jesus. You are blessed by the Lord. Yes. Yes, I say every day shall be better than the, than the former. Every day shall be better than the former. <laughs> new glory shall spring forth. The Bible says he shall do a new thing. It says, shall you not know it? He will spring. He says, I shall do a new thing in your life. It shall spring forth. It shall spring forth, wherever you are, from your mind to the ears of God. That glorious future that you have been praying for, you are walking into it now in the name of Jesus. That beautiful future that you have been praying for, that beautiful future that you have been uh, admiring, you are walking into it in the mighty name of Jesus. A better tomorrow, a better future, a better future. <coughs> 
in the name of Jesus. I'm sorry for my voice. Open to the book of Lamentation. Let's go to chapter 3. Let's go to chapter 3. Let's see what 22 is talking about. Verse 22. Lamentation 3, 22. God bless all my partners. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. I see everyone that are connected with the seed. God bless you. The book of Lamentation 3 in verse 22 the Bible says it is of the Lord mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. The compassion of God will not fail in your life. Hallelujah. In verse 23, the Bible says, it said they are new every morning. The compassion, the love of the Lord, the steadfastness, the steadfast love of the Lord. The Bible recorded that they are new every morning. He said, because great is the faithfulness of the Lord. Yes, every day, child of God, the love of God will bring you the best in every day. Because the love of God, it is steadfast and new every morning. It didn't save some money. The love will be bitter. No, he said it is new every morning. It is new every morning. So you will walk in new glory every day. You will walk in new glory every day. You will walk in new glory every day. A better, a better one than the former. He said they are new every morning. Great is the faithfulness of the Lord. I prophesy upon the life of somebody. The love of God bring you the best every day. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say the love of the Lord. He bring you the best every day. In the name of Jesus, I say the love of God bring you the best every morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> Step into that glorious future that you have been praying for. I say step into it. The hand of the Lord pull you out from that situation that want to determine your destiny and put you in line with your destiny where you step into your glorious destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, you walk in new glory every day. You walk in new glory every day. You walk in new glory every day. Day. Can somebody begins to celebrate God? Father, thank you because I know the better future that I prayed for, you have given it to me. Can you begin to thank the Lord? Yes, for that better tomorrow, for that good news every day. Yes, for the Lord bring you, I said the love of God, bring you the best every day. In the name of Jesus, begins to celebrate the King of Kings. Begins to celebrate the Lord of Lords, celebrate the mighty money battle, celebrate the King of Kings. Somebody celebrate God. Somebody celebrate God. Can you give God that glory? Can you give God that glory? Yes. A better day, a better tomorrow, a better future, a new glory every day. Celebrate God because he has done that which he said he will do. Can you join me to give glory to this God? The glory of the Lord will not share. Abba, Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. We celebrate your holy name. We celebrate your holy name. We celebrate your holy name. Be glorified forever in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God alone is taking that glory. Child of God, as you are giving God glory, as you are connecting to that world, as you are stepping into that brighter future that you have always prayed for, as you step into it, if you have not liked the word, go on and like the word. As you connect yourself to that word, go on and share the word. The Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are sowing a seed. You can go on and do that. You are led to sow a seed. You can go on and do that through paper, through cash up, through super chat. You are making 
making a donation, whatever it is that the Lord laid in your heart, your pain offering, your tithe, whatever. You can go on and do that. Call that seed, my seed of a better tomorrow, my seed of a greater glory, new glory every day, new glory every day. Yes, as you call that seed, my seed for a better tomorrow, we serve a God that honor. He shall honor your givings and give you that which you ask for in the name of Jesus. God bless every hands that are sending me seed. I see all the seed that are coming in. God bless you all abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, family, you are under the sound of my voice. You are not born again. Please come to the other side. A life without God is hardly a life at all. What shall it profit? A man, if he gains the whole world and he loses his soul, you must realize, you must realize, child of God, that the most important thing that we have is our salvation. After all of these blessings that the Lord is blessing us with, may we not be found missing on the last day in the book of life. Hallelujah. That is why I encourage us in every of our session that we must put our salvation in check because the enemy is after those that are still standing. The enemy is not after those who are condemned already, who are already in their cage, who have already given up on their salvation. The enemy is after me and you that is still holding on, that is still serving the Lord, that is still believing God. Can you say this word before me, child of God, even if you are born again, you are not born again, you can reconfess Jesus, even if it's hundred times a day. Why? Because it is important. Why? Because the devil is an accuser of their brethren. Hallelujah. Can you say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I call before you today as a sinner. Just as I am, Lord, accept me. Forgive me my sins, Lord. Erase my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary on the third day you were risen. I decree and I declare that from today, I am saved, born of God. I am born again. I am a child of God. For in Jesus' precious name, amen. I pray for you, whatever you are, you that make those confessions, the grace to run the race and to win the prize. Let it be upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. And this earth, you shall be successful. On the last day, you shall make heaven as well. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you the grace to press on. It is released upon you for in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Congratulations to you, child of God. In this ministry, we encourage reading the word of God. A Christian without a word of God is empty. Our test in this session it is the book of Psalm chapter 118, verse 24. The Lord bless you as you draw closer to God. God himself shall draw closer to you, and you shall become your own prophet. And the Lord shall reveal, shall be revealing to you the secret thing that he wants you to know about. The Lord bless you as you seek the Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Everyone that planted a seed in this ministry today, whatsoever way the seed come into this ministry, God has seen the pro, the way, the place where you fetch that seed and you brought to his to this ministry. You brought it to the to his household. I pray for you by the power in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> That God has seen yet in the secret and reward in the open. Let that God reward you for that sacrifice in the name of Jesus. The seed that you planted shall not die. It is a seed of a better and a greater glory. It is a seed of a better tomorrow. You shall return with a testimony of a better Tomorrow, in the name of Jesus, every day I pray through the seed, you shall speak of new glory. You shall speak of new glory. I bless the seed for increase. I pray the Lord multiply your gifts. You reap in thousands, you reap in millions, you reap in hundreds. Carry as much as you can in the name of Jesus. Your seed is not dying. The Lord work it, bless it, and return it back to you. In abundance, in the name of Jesus, we bless the seed. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, family. God bless you for, for your time. Thank you for sharing the word. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for you that is partnering with us. Thank you for you that is connecting with your seed. 
Thank you. God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. All of your sacrifice, it is honored by God. The Bible says, whatsoever a man sow, he shall reap. Every sacrifice that you make, you shall reap the good of it in this place, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray for you, child of God. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in the house of God forever. Amen. I pray for you in guidance, the Lord is guiding you. In protection, the Lord protects you. In preservation, the Lord preserves you. I pray for you, no weapon, form, or fashion against your new glory that will prosper in the name of Jesus. No weapon that form and fashion against your better future, your better tomorrow that you step into today that shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Everything that stands as counter attack, it is rebuked in the name of Jesus. The manifestation of this prayer, no power will steal it in the name of Jesus. That which you have received is covered with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua, you are blessed in your going out. You are blessed in your coming back. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And the saints shall say amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Can you say to yourself, my head is blessed. My hands are blessed. My feet are blessed. Everything is blessed. I am the Lord's anointed. My head and my glory are not for sin. You are the anointed of the Lord. The enemy will not buy your head. They will not buy your glory. God bless you, family. I love you. By the grace of God, we'll continue to pray on our next prayer session. God bless you so much. I love you.